It's on that, uh, it's on that champagne pink grub way back there. Kellogg here welcome back to the channel I got a little tweak here for when you're out trolling grubs that may be an absolute day saver for you so you know I've been talking a lot about grub trolling here on the channel um, just to review my favorite grub three inch grub um, one of my FHS grubs recently I've been relying on pink and white out here at Collins Lake I've been teaming them up with uh, sweet corn pro cure and they've been working very well and typically what happens, I'm trolling them at about 1.8 miles an hour, whether I'm teaming them with a dodger or trolling them naked. What the bites have been looking like is, you know, sometimes they come in and grab it, fish on, yay, that's great, we're all smiling. Often, the trout are coming in and they're grabbing the tail of the grub and they'll grab it once or twice or maybe even three times and then they suck the grub in and it's game on. Today I was out with clients and uh, I had some trout hitting right under the surface. I was trolling a naked grub, teamed with a, a little tiny trolling weight, just that weight right there. I was back about 150 feet, so I don't think the grub was maybe two, three feet deep at the most. Well, I was having these bites where the fish would come in, they would grab the tail once or twice, and then they would just fade away and they would never get hooked. So. After that happened six, seven, eight times, got kind of frustrated and this is what I did and this worked really well. So I rigged the grub up as I ordinarily would on a, on a uh, Mustad number two slow death hook, but to the shank of that hook or to the bend actually, I put on a little piece of 10 pound fluorocarbon line and that's probably, I'm gonna say that's two inches long and I tip that with a number 16 um, owner treble hook. I just had these in the boat for fishing power bait. I don't often use a treble with power bait, but luckily I had a half dozen of these hooks. Well, I rig that up just like that. And as you can see, that treble sits when there's some water pressure on it, it sits just beyond the tip of that swimming tail. And let me tell you, they came in nipping and they ended up hooked once I started running that treble behind the tail of that grub. So just something for you to file away in your, in your memory bank. Um, I don't wanna go in depth about grubs right now because I've been talking a ton about them over the last two weeks, but uh, just remember that rigging. If you're out there and they're hitting the tails on your grubs and they're not committing and getting the main hook in their mouth, put on a little piece of fluorocarbon, a little tea tiny treble hook, and you're gonna turn those window shoppers into hookups i guarantee it i'm kel kellogg i hope that helps you down the road i will catch you next time right here on uh, youtube and if you're looking for the best grub kit on the market go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and grab one of my grub kits you'll get 160 grubs and all the stuff you need to rig them up and get out on the water i'm kel kellogg